Core Animation is an extraordinary toolkit, and UIKit wraps it in a simple and flexible set of methods. And because it's so simple to use, you really have no excuse for not using it. In this project, you learned about the Animate with Duration method of UIView, Spring Animations, as well as Alpha Values and CG Affine Transform. But remember, animation isn't just there to make our apps look pretty. It also helps guide the user's eyes. So, if you're moving something around conceptually, e.g. moving an email to a folder, showing a palette of paintbrushes, rolling a dice, and so on, then move it around visually too. Your users will thank you for it. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, go back to Project 8 and make the letter group buttons fade out when they're tapped. We were using the is hidden property before, but you need to switch to alpha because is hidden is either true or false. It has no animatable values in between. Second, go back to Project 13 and make the image view fade in when a new pitch is chosen. To make this work, set the alpha value to zero first. And third, go back to Project 2 and make the flag scale down with a little bounce when pressed. 